Hi everyone, it's Ange from Luna Creates. I wanted to hop on here and share, yes, that's right, another junk journal. Um, <laughs> I just have so much fun making these. Uh, so this is a little junk journal. Uh, let me see how long, excuse me, how big this one is. This one is, well, with the pages sticking out, but the cover is, I want to say, a little more than four than four and a half by a little more than six and a half or about six and a half anyways I'm just in the kick on making these snowman journals because I have tons of the snowman uh, safe freeze paper pads from Michaels in my stash and I'm still you know it's still winter time so I figured why not make another uh, snowman journal and this won't be my last one I think I have another one I would like to make as well but this one was quick and easy because it's only one signature and the spine is about one inch. So yeah, it's just, it was super quick and fun to make. It, it was one sit, uh, one sitting to do. So I just thought it'd be fun to, make, uh, to go through a flip through. So the closure is from twine that I picked up at Michael's and I added some beads to the I knotted some beads on the ends of them just for fun because I had these in my stash and I thought why not and then there's some beads here too so let's open her up and do a quick flip through the twine is just tied up on the spine here as you can see I don't know why my lighting is so there, is that better? Yeah, I think that's better. And excuse the mess over here. I had urge to make some Easter cards and I thought, you know what, let me do this video first and then continue on with those projects. So here's the cover. I just left it like this. Now these are those, um, oh, what, what is the name of these books? It's a little elf book. Brown Watson, I believe is the author but anyhow so you flip through the story is intact and as you can see I was using the safe freeze uh, papers from Michaels here is some washi tape there I added some vintage recipe pages some note paper invoice paper this is a clear pocket that I picked up at Amazon a pack of them and in this clear pocket is a cut apart um, flash card and an offertory church envelope. And then continue on. It's not really much an embellishing, it's just nice and easy to put photos, and you could do your journaling here, right? Like I said, it was a quick project and I thought it turned out super cute. And the story is intact. Here's the story here. Oh, sorry, it's a Bron Watson is the publisher. Okay, there you go. And this book was published in 1986. I just thought it was a cute, cute size. I made a bigger version of this one so that I did, um, a video on if I think of it I'll add it to I'll link the video in the description box down below here is a snowman napkin some more note paper recipe page scrapbook paper and I added some postage stamps there here's a pocket with a cut apart and a while you were out memo it's such a cute size too here's more of the story here beautiful illustrations look at that that's so cute and the one signature is sewn into the spine here's another scrapbook paper with another stamp there A vintage recipe card here 
I thought it would be, um, <coughs> excuse me, I thought it was appropriate to put hot creamy co uh, chocolate in here because, you know, when you're outside building a snowman, you get cold or whatnot, and you want some hot chocolate. So here's the center of the signature, and here is where you can see I added some beads. I'm not sure why my lighting is so off today. Here is a pocket. It it's a it's a ribbon that I got from your dollar store with more. And then there's some more added goodies there. Another stamp there. Some memo pages. More of the story here. Notebook pages. Here is um, a milk cap. I just thought it looked cute there. Recipe cards or recipe pages, that is. The other side of that napkin. And I think this is like the end of the story here. Yep, I think. Yes. Lots of places to journal, lots of places to add your photos. And here's another one of those clear pockets there. And I added a flash card and a cut apart. And this is the spine of the book. I didn't have the heart to toss it out, so I thought I'd place it in here. Recipe page. And then that's the back, and here's the back cover. So yeah, just a real cute, fun, um, smaller version of a junk journal. I just had a lot of fun making this, and I just wanted to share it with you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you like to hit that subscribe button, please do so. Thank you so much for watching, everyone, and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye for now.